now you can see the iva port addressing there are uh, two types of uh, addressing modes uh, for iva porting uh, so direct uh, iva port and indirect uh, iva port so direct port addressing and indirect iva port addressing so two the iva port addresses are of two types or of uh, two types one is direct and second one is indirect port addressing mode in general the standard iva devices use uh, port addressings iva port addressings so for memory mapped IO, memory addressing modes are used. In standard IO devices use IO port addressing. For a memory uh, mapped devices use memory um, addressing modes are going to be used. So in direct addressing mode in general uh, the port may be the 8 bit. Uh, so 2 power 8 means that 0 to 255 the port uh, numbers will be allocated. Let them take an example for input port and output port. Uh, out 08H, comma AL. If you write like this, this is the meaning of um, the content of the AL moved to 8-bit port of 08H. So the, so the port address is 08H. The port has a specific value of 08H address. Using that address, the AL contents will be moved out. Similar way, you can see in AX, comma. 80h so this is in input means that it is coming to the processor coming to the processor so the through the 80 port h so copies the copies the 16 bit contents it copies the 16 bit contents of port 8h so there is some value there is some data which carrying by the 80h address that data will be moved to coming into the ax register so the copies the 16 bit contents of the port 80h so port 80h has some data that data will be copied to the 16 bit. So from external to it coming in, inside the processor so that it is a in. Out means that from the processor it is going to out via the port that means that out. So uh, AL is a move to 8 bit port from the 8 bit port it sends out as well as the in means that from the port it sends it coming to the AX register. So this is the this is the direct port addressing. So coming to this indirect port addressing, we use uh, some sort of registers like DX to IN. So this uh, indirect addressing uh, format, we can use the memory mapped in memory mapped IO. We are using indirect port addressing. Why? Because in memory mapped IO, we can use the 64 kilobytes of uh, 64 uh, K, and that means the 65536 IO ports may be used in memory mapped IO. Or you can use a 32K with the 16-bit ports. If you want to use the 16-bit ports, you can use 32K. If you want to use 8-bit ports, uh, you can use the 65536 ports. So there may be a chance to allow those many ports in a memory map driver via the indirect port addressing. Let us take an example uh, in AL comma DX register. That means that the DX register has the port value like uh, some uh, 7725H. For our convenience, I am saying 7725H, it is not fixed value. Whatever the data is there, that data will be copied into the 8 bit register of AL register. So, that is in. So, next one move in AX, DX. In memory location, each memory location contains only 8 bits so that the lower byte will be loaded into the AL and the higher byte will be loaded into the AH register. The same thing will be followed. So, successive memory locations will be utilized like 77250 in uh, AL data and uh, 77251 AH data successively it can stores via the DX register. So the in IVA port addressing there are two types of addressing modes. One is direct port, direct addressing port and the indirect addressing port. In direct addressing port you can use the direct value like 8H. Through the 8H port address you can send the data and you can get the data in the form of in and out. In indirect port addressing, we are using the DX register, particularly in memory map driver. For 8 bit, 64K bytes of memory will be used. For a 16 bit data, 32K bytes of memory can be used. So, via the DX, we can send the data, we can receive the data. That means the DX is the port. Let it, this way, this cyber port addressing is going to be done. In the next class, we will see the program memory addressing modes. And with this, uh, uh, different types of addressing modes uh, by the help of uh, effective address uh, in the instructions has been concluded. Uh, if you like this video, please share and subscribe. At least comment uh, below this video. I appreciate your comments. Thank you very much. See you again. Bye bye.